Insulin is a hormone. Hormones are chemical messengers. We can't see them, we can really only imagine what they look like. And you know, out of sight, out of mind, because we can't see them, we don't really regard just how powerful they are. I'm about to make how we gain fat as easy as Sesame Street makes counting and reading. Shout out Grover, Elmo, Big Bird, the whole little block, shout out the whole little gang. Let's get into it. So we say that it is a chemical messenger, but we barely even know what that is. Get this, the body loves balance. Yin and yang, a perfectly balanced teeter-totter. You see where I'm going with this. In this state, when the body is balanced, we call it homeostasis. Why does this matter? Because the only reason insulin is triggered is because of an imbalance in the body. Don't freak out, it's totally normal. Imbalance is regular, otherwise we wouldn't have hormones. These hormones are the chemical messengers that bring our body from out of balance to back to balance. These hormones quite literally travel through the blood, get somewhere, and send a message. That's why they are coined chemical messengers. As they send that message, it brings the body back from its imbalanced state to homeostasis. We can spin this a million ways. You know, the thermostat always bringing the room back to a set temperature. A rubber band, you can pull it, but it's gonna snap back to that homeostatic spot. You see where I'm, you see where I'm going? Memory foam, you smack your hand in that bad boy, and that foam just rises back on up to the normal level. That is what the body is doing 24 seven. All right, that concludes our crash course on how hormones work, but we're still left with the big question. How does insulin make us fat? Insulin has one goal, control glucose levels. But wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Definitions, what is glucose? Glucose is the energy fuel of the body. America runs on Duncan, the body runs on glucose. No glucose? No nothing. As you're sitting right now in a fasted state, meaning you aren't eating, unless you are eating, what you got? You eat? What you got? You got some some nachos? You bet. You better not be eating no nachos while you watching me. In a fasted state, it is likely that our glucose levels are in homeostasis. Not too high, not too low. It is when they are too high that insulin is triggered. And don't forget, that is normal. Imbalance in the body is normal. So what makes glucose levels high and what does insulin actually do once it's triggered? Eating. Eating makes glucose levels high. This is why we say food is energy. Food provides glucose. So after our meal, our nachos or whatever you're eating, you better not be eating no, no nachos. Out. It's gonna shoot glucose straight into the blood. That is gonna cause blood glucose to go from homeostasis to high. Insulin comes in and brings it from high back on down to homeostasis. All right, now that we have the full background on insulin, the whole background check, we know who the mama, the daddy is, all the crimes he committed, the whole shebang. It's time to understand what it actually does in the body. Once released, first, insulin makes sure that the muscles are good. Muscles are expensive. They're asking for glucose every day, all day. To make sure they are taken care of, insulin sends them the glucose they need and even puts a little off to the side just for them. And that uh, glucose that's off to the side is stored glucose. It's known as glycogen. So after the muscle is taken care of, insulin then takes extra glucose and converts it into fat to put into our fat cells. Ladies and gentlemen, that is where fat comes from. You know, the extra flab, the, 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 the double chin, what we got? Oh, the cankles. Oh. The love handles? That is the mechanism. You now know how we have, how we put fat on the body. There's one more, dare I say, devilish trait of insulin worth mentioning. Once insulin is in the blood, it inhibits lipolysis, which is just lab coat speak for, it ain't allowing the breakdown of any fat. Remember, it wants to create fat. The body is not necessarily interested in breaking any fat down if insulin is going into the blood. It literally locks fat in its fat cells. All right, so obviously you can understand how overeating can contribute to putting on more fat on the body. Okay, we get it, but around here, you know we never make it that simple. Never let someone demean uh, gaining fat to the simple idea of overeating. There are multiple things going on, and now we understand, you understand, one more chapter to the full story, the mechanism of insulin. To dial it in even more, carbohydrates are the foods that are notoriously known for how much glucose they supply to the blood. You know them, you love them. Bread, rice, pasta, you know, carbs. Shoot, if you don't know, you're learning. Carbohydrates, uh, bread, rice, pasta, let's see, uh, cake, all the candy. Foods that are majority, starch or sugar, those are carbohydrates. You gotta keep me around, I'm out here teaching. You gotta keep me around, sorry. So, the reason those foods uh, cause that response in insulin is because if you break all those foods down, 
universally this goes for all carbs breaking them down to a molecular level we are dealing with some glucose some form of a very simple sugar congratulations you have gained a notch of knowledge to assist you in your journey managing insulin glucose insulin fat that is the very straightforward equation hey man leave me a like possibly if any of this confused you and you still don't know what's going on ask me in the comments bro tell me to break something down a little bit slower for you i love answer i might dedicate a whole video to answer one question you might have in the comments dog always ask me i'm here to help you all right um be happy be safe i love you nah, it's still too soon <laughs>